What's up guys, it is WeMassy11 and today I have another week 51 of the Team of the Week predictions and this week I believe is the final week of Team of the Week predictions for FIFA 13 it's either this week or next week so I'm, I'm hoping to gain uh, get at least 12 this week a bit more than usual so in the nets we have Matt Gilks who saved the penalty and kept a clean sheet in Blackpool's win versus Watford. This guy's going to be a pretty nice card as there's not many Scottish informed goalkeepers. The first of the defence, we have Leonardo Bonucci, who got two assists in Juventus's 4 1 home win versus Lazio. Uh, Vidal also got two, and Pogba also got one. I do got a few assists in that match, I do believe. Next, we have Guilherme Centendardo, and this guy's going to be shit. He got a goal and a clean sheet in Atlanta's match at the weekend. Next, we have a slightly better centre-back. We have second in form, Daniel Agar, I do believe. And he got an assist and kept a clean sheet in their 1-0 win versus Manchester United. And he he was kind of unlucky for the goal. It, it might have been going in apart from that deflection on from Sturge. But he did play well against Man United and deserves another in-form card. Next, we have Jefferson Farfan, who got an assist and a goal in Schalke's 2-0 shock win over Baron Leverkusen. I thought that Bayern Leverkusen would have easily won that match as they were on good form. But Schalke surprised me. And Forfan with a goal and an assist should be enough for another in-form card. Next, we have the Bosnian beast, Mirlan oh, Pajanic. And he got a goal and an assist in Roma's 3-0 win at the weekend. Another nice in-form card. This will be his second in form, and I'll be looking to pick up this guy for cheap. Next, we have Arturo Vidal. Pretty pointless card, but he got two goals in the 4-1 win that I mentioned before. And he's not going to be that good because he already has a team of the season. and Well, he's going to be good, but he's just not going to be that sought after because there's so many in forms of him. Next, we have Kevin Gamero, who got two goals in Sevilla's 2-2 draw with Malaga. And he was playing right wing in the match. The only thing that would stop this guy getting another in form is that his side only drew 2-2. Next, we have Lionel Messi. 99 rated is a bit optimistic, but he does have a 96, a 95 and his team of the season is 97, and his team of the year is 98. So maybe EA will re-release one of his old informs, or else they'll just give him a 99 card just to try to get some more money out of the packs. Next, we have Vidan Abisevic, who got a hat-trick in Stuttgart's 6-2 win at the weekend, and this guy is going to be another nice inform card. I might link him up. Links up well with the informed Jekko. Next, and the final player in the starting 11, we have Mario Gomez, who got two goals and an assist in Florentina's 5 or 6 2 win at the weekend. Rossi also got a, a, a goal and an assist in that match. Next, and onto the subs, we have Tom Heaton. Oh, that flopped. Who saved the penalty and kept the clean sheet in Burnley's 3-0 win. Next we have Denim Minis who got a hat-trick. The rest of the players got hat-tricks. We have Ryan Mason who also got a hat-trick. We have Rennie Gartler who also got a hat-trick. We have Koranovic who got a hat-trick and an assist. Rondon also got a hat-trick. And Morassi got a hat-trick for Cork City. So that is my Team of the Week predictions for Week 51. As you see, 
kind of some nice informs and then some pretty shit informs also. But hope you enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. Peace.